The Solemnity of Christ the King marks the last Sunday of ordinary time, just before the opening of the new liturgical year in the Advent season. Rather than merely turning the page on the calendar, it coincides with a moment of grace to move into a new liturgical year with gratitude for the blessings received and also with hopes for future growth. The liturgy invites us to ask the question, is Jesus Christ really the King of my life? In ancient times, there were a number of ways that a king was present to his subjects. In the first place, through the symbols of the king, such as his flag or image on a coin. With Jesus, his great symbol is the crucifix, which reminds us that his reign is expressed through a self-giving, sacrificial love. Wearing a crucifix or placing it in our home or office is an important sign that we desire to belong to him. Secondly, a king made known his message by way of a decree. Christ the King communicates to us in a special way through his word contained in sacred scripture. By hearing or reading his words and implementing them in our lives, we reveal that we belong to Christ. A third way a king was present in his kingdom was through his ambassadors, his appointed advocates who could deliver the king's message. The Pope is the special representative of Jesus on this earth, but each of us, having accepted Jesus as our King, is called to share his message with other people. Finally, the greatest and most pleasing mode of the King's presence was the invitation and great honor to be in his personal company in his castle. Jesus Christ in the Eucharist is the equivalent to this form of presence. The church is his castle, and those who desire to be in the presence of their king seek his substantial presence in the Eucharist. As the liturgical calendar flips and a new year of grace begins, let us examine the ways that we can improve in allowing Jesus to completely reign over our lives. By proudly adorning his cross, by reading, hearing, obeying, and communicating his message, and by spending time in his Eucharistic presence, we can truly profess that Jesus is our King and that we proudly belong to his kingdom of perfect love.